Problem A. There's a 16-character string comprised of 0 and 1. Determine if all the even-numbered characters are 0. Huh? Well, I kind of understand what you're trying to say. I am the original proposer of this problem, by the way. Problem B. There are results from a round-robin tournament with n people. Arrange them in descending order of their numbers of wins. If the numbers of wins are the same, arrange them in ascending order of their ID numbers. First, count the number of wins. Then arrange pairs of win count and person number, right? Problem C. There's a contest where you get points for solving problems. Everyone has a slight bonus point. So there will be no tie. The current situation is given. For each person, how many more problems must they solve to become first? First, calculate the score of the current first place. Then, arrange the remaining problems in descending order of points. And you just need to solve them one by one. Problem D. There are a lot of slimes. Two slimes of the same size. Can be combined into one slime of twice the size. What is the minimum possible final number of slimes? But there are loads and loads of slimes. Since slimes only get bigger. You just have to combine them in order from smallest. In words, that's the end of it. But some kind of data structure is needed to do it in order. Problem E. We have a playlist with several songs. Choose one song at random and play it. Then after it finishes, play another one at random. Continue this cycle. A little after x seconds from the start of the first play. What's the probability that song 1 is playing? Write the answer as f, x. Then, once you decide on the first song to play, you only need to know f, x, for smaller x's. So you just need to calculate all in order from smallest x. It's something called dynamic programming. Problem F. There is a person in a cargo in a large warehouse. He can move one square up, down, left, or right. And if there's a cargo in the square he is moving to, he can push and move it to move the cargo to a designated place. How many moves does it take at least? If there's no wall, there's no point in moving it in a zigzag. First align the horizontal position, then the vertical, or do the vertical first. Those are the only options. In words, that's the end of it, but careful implementation is needed. Maybe it's always okay to move the cargo horizontally first? But if the cargo is exactly to the right of him, it might not work. That's all for this time. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.